Well, hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for today's Daily Touchpoint. We're in Genesis chapter three, which is really an origin story of the fall. You know, have you ever wondered why are there things in this world like evil or death, diseases, decay, corruption? We can trace it back to the source of this right here in Genesis chapter three. And, you know, God created Adam and Eve. It was good. He was dwelling with them in freedom and closeness and worship in the garden. They had everything they needed. There was pleasure and joy. And God told them, you know, you can have all the trees in this garden, except there's one I do not want you to take. And that's the knowledge of tree of good and evil. And as Adam and Eve are out in the garden, this serpent comes up to them and tempts them. And he says, you know, did God really say don't take of this tree? And he questions God's goodness. And Adam and Eve have a decision to make here. Do we trust God or do we try to have life in our own way? And they end up being deceived and they take of the fruit of this tree and they experience the consequences of it immediately. Immediately they start feeling shame and they start hiding themselves, covering themselves before each other and before God. They start blaming each other, you know, for what happened. And we see the devastation happen even in the next chapter where one of their sons, Cain, ends up murdering Abel. And so quickly, darkness now enters the world. There's a fractured relationship between God and humanity. And sin enters the world as a curse. And we to this day, we know that life is not how it should be. When we experience uh, deaths of loved ones, when something evil happens to us, when we see people getting sick, We know we experience the ramifications of a fractured relationship uh, between God and humanity because of sin. And so what hope do we have in the midst of all this? It's what's amazing is soon after this, God makes a promise. And this promise is in verse 15. I want to read it here. Um, Verse 15 is known as the, is called Proto Evangelium, which means it's the first announcement of the gospel in all the Bible. And it says this, It says, I will put enmity, this is God speaking to the serpent. He says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. And what he's saying here is from the offspring of Eve will come Jesus. And he's going to step on the serpent's head. And when he does, his his heel is going to be bruised. And so Jesus goes through a great amount of pain to step on the head of the serpent here. The serpent bites his, his heel and, and there's a great amount of pain that comes, a suffering. That, and this, this refers to the suffering of what Jesus has to experience on the cross. And from this moment on, Genesis 3, all the rest of the Bible, it's really the story of redemption. It's God pursuing his people. It's God restoring his people back to himself and reconciling us back to God through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. And God promises there's going to be a new garden in heaven that we get to be with him for all of eternity. He's gonna make all things new. And so this is good news for us in the midst of a lot of bad news in chapter three, right? In order to fully understand the good news of the gospel, we need to understand how serious the condition of sin is right here in chapter three and the source of it all. And so let's come to God and pray and thank him for the good news of the gospel in this passage. Let's pray. God, we, we come before you now, we confess that we too, like Adam and Eve, have gone astray, that we've disobeyed you, that we went our own way and we wanted to be the God of our own lives. And we confess our own sins to you, God, that you see them, that we can't hide from you. And so we pray now, Lord, we bring those things before you and ask and thank you, Lord, that you sent Jesus to come, to make all things new, to reconcile us back to God. We thank you, Jesus, for what you suffered on the cross, that you, you took a great suffering so that we can be with you. And I pray for each person here as we come before you, God, that we would feel the hope of the gospel, that you're gonna make all things new. And so we thank you so much in Jesus' name, amen.